dedicated to Adam Conover and his awesome hair. <sighs> oh, great. What is it? Did I misspell something on the marquee? Because that's the only thing I care about. Uh, no, no, it's just... It's a Wonderful Life shouldn't be considered a holiday classic, much less a classic anything. Not you two. Two? Ugh. Look, there was a blonde boy named Adam Conover that was going around and telling people about it, and I'm not gonna let you do it. It's bad for business. But it's not a classic. Look, if you give me a moment, I'll tell you why. Fine. You're lucky this flick starts at 7 p.m. When the film first came out in 1946, due to the war, it was kind of a failure. People didn't like it or didn't see it, so it wasn't that popular. And a few years down the road, its copyright was up for renewal, but since nobody bothered to reinstate it, it fell into the public domain. Let me guess. Cheap watch stations began playing on a repeat due to it being free media? That's how everyone got to know the film and recognize it as a classic. The funny part is that the same thing happens to other films around other holidays. For instance, remember this year's freeform Halloween incident? Yep, non-stop Hocus Pocus marathons and Toy Story as far as the eye can see. Then there was AMC last year with the Christmas Story playing on a 24-hour marathon. Ugh, gross. Exactly, and this year is no different. I mean, have you seen their lineup this year? Excuse me, but what do Life Size, The Incredibles, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Ice Age, Wedding Ceremonies, and The Lion King have to do with Christmas? That's what we want to know. Also, where did part two of the Santa Claus go? Dude, this really sucks. Where's Home Alone? I really wanted to see the wet bandits' faces get smashed in with a paint can. You'd either have to get a physical copy, check Netflix, or simply change the channel to AMC. They have all the good holiday films this year. Freeform has just become static holiday noise. Well, you see, due to repetition, any movie can become a quote-unquote holiday classic. What about James Stewart? How did he feel about this whole ordeal? He didn't like it. He actually went to court in the 90s to try to get a hold of the copyrights that were needed for It's a Wonderful Life in Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window in a case called Stewart vs. Abend. The rights were finally given back just five years after Jimmy Stewart passed away. Damn. Is it too late to change the marquee to Die Hard? Oh, that's not a Christmas flick. It is too a Christmas flick. It's not. Is too. It's not. Is too. If Die Hard is a Christmas flick, then so is Psycho. It takes place on December 11th. Speaking of that movie, what happened with that Norman Bates dude that called you? I don't know. Hope he's okay during this holiday season. Just my luck, Mother. Someone sent me a mobile phone. Also, are you okay? You sound a bit... off. I don't know. This has never happened to me before. Should I be feeling a certain way? Concerned? No, that's not it. <coughs> Ew! Sorry.